So uh, this is another basis of um, trying to classify hyenas, all right? I can classify hyenas based on if they are strangulated or if they are non-strangulated. Do you understand? All right. So for the strangulated hyenas, um, we have it that there's what? The abdominal structures that are going through there. They're kind of like tying on each other. So the blood supply could be occluded. Okay? So blood supply to the region is kind of like cut off. All right? And this could lead to complications like ischemia. All right? So the non strangulators is simply what? Yeah, there could be twisting of the intestines right there, but blood supply is not involved. No, not really twisting. It could be that the intestine actually went through the defect area, but blood supply was not what involved or affected. Okay, so we said the strangulated or non-strangulated hyenas are actually what a two different what classifications of hyenas, and this is based on their impact on the blood flow to the intestine. All right, is based on what if they are affecting the blood flow to the intestines or not. All right, just like I showed you guys here, this twisting right here should definitely affect the blood vessels. That's why I have it as well, the strangulated hyena. So, but if you're having the intestine just going through the side, just mild like this, just mild. There's no strangulation. Okay, that's a non-strangulated hyena. So, you guys have already known, but just let's, let's just uh, discuss about it. Um, so this classification of hyena is actually based on their impact on blood flow to the intestine. All right. Uh, for the non-strangulated um, hyena, we see that the intestine is protruded through the hyena defect, but blood flow to the intestine is not compromised. All right. Nothing is wrong with the uh, blood flow. Do you understand? It's just that yeah, the intestine went through defect, but nothing is wrong. Okay. Now, the intestine is not trapped and there is no risk of gangrene or tissue death, okay? It may cause discomfort, pain, and bulging, but there's no immediate danger because what? The blood supply is still maintained, all right? Moving to the strangulated one now. The intestine is trapped and the blood flow to the intestine is compromised or cut off, all right? The intestine is at the risk of gangrene or tissue death due to lack of what blood supply all right it requires immediate medical attention as it can lead to what life-threatening complications such as what gangrene it could also lead to a perforation in the intestine it could lead to peritonitis as inflammation of the lining of the abdominal cavity it could lead to sepsis that's a life-threatening infection all right so that's it about what this classification of hyena basically the strangulated hyena and the non-strangulated one hyena see you guys pretty soon